How many rapes do you think built this phone? I'm not even going to answer that. I'll tell you how many. None. Believe that if you want. Uh, I do, but you know, because someone told you that the tantalum powder that makes it was sourced from a conflict area in the Congo. And now you're ready to get the entire world to boycott them, and you don't even know if that's true. Well, you would believe anything any corporation tells you because you <sighs> no. don't want to know the ugly truth. Look, the real truth is, is that nobody can track down where the powder comes from because nobody wants to know the answer. Okay, so it starts with the phone, but then where does it end? You could track nearly every product you have back to a conflict area because you know why? The world is an ugly place. People rape and kill all over. And to be honest, we have it pretty damn good here. So yes, you have to be conscious about where you spend your money and we have to try to police corporations as best we can, but you can't be a fucking cowboy and just go and try to solve everything by streaming everything. I mean, who the hell is paying for this anyway? Look, we pay one way. Oh, so. you were paying for it? I think of it as a charitable contribution. To your funeral. I mean, that guy, Alvaro. He a should... Alejandro. Okay. Whatever his name is, he should buy the tickets. Well, he is. So we get ourselves to Lima, and then he has a private plane to the jungle. So why isn't this being publicized on campus? Because we just don't want to attract attention. Oh, dude, this is beyond sketchy. This is like sketchy McSketchington. Well, maybe it's because you don't trust men. Yeah, with good reason. What does your dad think? My dad does everything by the book, okay? He'll never understand. He'll try to get it shut down. I'll tell him tomorrow when it's too late to change anything. Just don't tell him. Not like it would matter anyway. You're not listening to good advice. <sighs> Look, not every fight is your fight. I think this is everyone's fight. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, if you get shot and bulldozed, I'm taking your mattress. <laughs>